um, and you could uh, watch it on your own. It's about time management. So anyway, thank you guys for coming. It's so good to see such a big group again. So nice to see everybody here. I thought it was going to look, we were going to look like we were drowned in this room, um, but it actually looks great. So thank you. So it's all about planning for the following year, setting up your goals, setting up your systems, putting a plan in place and executing that plan. Right. So think about New Year's, uh, New Year's goals, right? Everybody has a New Year's goal every year. Most people have the same one. And that is if you go to a gym in January, you can't get on a machine, right? Because everybody has the same goal. By February, March, April, no, everybody's gone, right? So we don't want that in our business. That's okay, maybe for our personal life, but in our business, we want to keep things consistent. Okay, so whatever goals we make, we want to make sure we have a plan in place that's manageable for us to move forward. So um, let me see if I can get this going. I'm going to skip over that. Okay, so I'm just going to go through. Oh, turn on the thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's on slideshow. Slideshow from current slide. Okay, there we go. Okay, so some of the things we're going to go over today, what was new at Weikert over the years, which was what we were playing at the beginning, a look back in 2021, all in one roof partnership, we do it all guarantee, a live my Weikert demo, name that tool, so we do have a game here, um, and prospecting to infinity and beyond, and I also do add a lot of awards and recognition in this, just because I feel like for a lot of people, that's what pushes them to the next level, right? They like to see where they can be. They, they imagine themselves on the screen next year or in the next few months. So I think recognition is really, really important in our business. Um, so I am gonna share some of that and then we'll get into the business plan. So John's continue to work on our- uh, One more trick. Yes, one more trick. So one of the things that you have to do is you have to force yourself to get up early. There's a responsibility. You have to be honest with yourself. Evaluate what everybody's going to do for you. These are your goals and your dreams. Everything you want starts and ends with you. It's all about you. We can all make excuses. We all have bad days. We all have bad clients. We all have tough real estate transactions. Right? Everybody has that, right? And then when something really monumental happens in someone's life, which is like a catastrophe, we think, then we realize that our lives aren't so bad and we can deal with the deal with it, right? So you have to be consistent every single day. I will tell you, when I was away last week, I went to the gym every single morning because, and I said to myself, I'm not going to worry about going to the gym, but it became a part of my habit. It became a part of who I am every day. It's what I do. So that's what a habit becomes. You know, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, it's always going to be um, something that you do. You want me to try it real quick? Yeah. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, I'm getting used to this. I'm getting used to this. You did it. Mm. Okay. You did it. Yeah. Try it again. Oh. We're good to go. Thank you, John. You're a lifesaver. Just like sale. Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know John Bade yet, every time we have a, 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 a meeting or awards or a celebration or ceremony anywhere, no matter if it's at Pillar's Elbow, that matter out, wherever you are, he's the one behind the music, behind the scenes, doing everything, taking care of everything. So again, we're fortunate to have him here close by. So again, you have to be honest with yourself, right? You have to evaluate yourself every day. And at the end of the day, you have to say, what did I do today for my business? And be honest with yourself, right? Looking at GSMLS is not doing business. It's looking at GSMLS to see if anything came on, right? There's a lot of income producing activities. We have to be um, proactive with every single day. So small habits are underestimated. Reading 20 pages of a book per day is 30 books per year. Just think about that, 20 pages a day. Saving $10 a day is $3,650 a year. 
running one mile per day is 365 miles a year. So who can't run 365, 000, 365 miles a year if you're doing one mile a, a day? Becoming 1% better per day is 37 times better per year. Making 10 contacts calls, but contacts actually speaking to a uh, client is 50 calls a week, Monday through Friday, 200 calls a month, 2,400 calls a year. So how many transactions would you close if you spoke to 10 people a day? Again, just taking small baby steps and, um, it, and making a different, a, a small change in your life every single day. And again, pick what it is that you want to do. Pick what's passionate. Don't pick the things that you don't want to do. Right? We all have those things that we have to, that we, do, we don't want to do, that we have to do to be successful. But choose the things that you're good at, that you love, that you're passionate about and start with. And then start little by little with those other things that we don't necessarily want to do. So the sky is the limit for 2022, right? Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery. And you have the whole world in your hands. You can do whatever it is that you want to do moving forward. So time management, getting the job done, um, which is what I was trying to get everything together for. Um, so we're just going to watch a short video, which I thought was very, very impactful. That's not it. Hopefully I won't have to watch a commercial because I waited too long. You ever wondered what? No, we have not. I can see my internet is going to be say no to everything that doesn't support your immediate goals 41 percent of items that people put on their to-do list are never done at all wow. it's like a to-do list is is the graveyard of you know important but not urgent and when you truly realize what like just how valuable a single minute is i mean money we can lose it and make it back again our health we can get sick and get healthy again time once it's gone it is gone time is life the 15 secrets successful people know about time management the productivity habits of seven billionaires 13 olympic athletes 29 straight a students and 239 entrepreneurs you might not use all of them but if you use one two three or four of them i tell you you're gonna get a lot more out of your day any anyone can make a big difference absolutely we all have the same amount of time. Every single one of us has the same amount of time, but some of us squander it, some of us waste it, some of us don't make best use of it. It's my goal, my, my hope at the end of this episode that you'll be able to see just how much time you have in the day. And there's something, something in this episode that you'll be able to use to maybe get more out of your day. And that to me is a win. Absolutely a win in my book. Golden nugget number one. Time is your most valuable and scarcest resource. Hey, 1440 is the number that can change your life. And that number is the number of minutes we all have in a single day. And while, you know, most of the people that I interviewed, you know, they're not all doing the same 15 secrets either. The, the common thread was that they always spoke about minutes and the value of time. And when you truly realize what, like just how valuable a single minute is, I mean, money, we can lose it and make it back again. Our health, we can get sick and get healthy again. Time, once it's gone, it is gone. Time is life. And so, you know, in one minute for your health, you know, you can bang out some push-ups or sit-ups or take a, a cleansing breath. For relationships, you can tell someone that you love them or that you're grateful for them. In business, it takes a minute to have a breakthrough idea. And once you truly understand that, all of a sudden, you know, you're not going to let people steal your time with all those God a minute meetings or uh, other trivial things. There's a certain number of minutes every single day that I have at my disposal. And so much of it is just wasted minutes. So if you start to capitalize on the time that you have, you'll realize, holy, I can get a whole bunch done. So golden nugget number two, identify your most important task and do it first. The most important task, the MIT, your MIT is you know, what is that project 
that is gonna double the size of your business? What is that project that's gonna get you the promotion or max out your bonus uh, at work? And then break it down. It's like, what domino can I tip over today that's gonna lean on the next one and the next one? And then we have to get in that discipline of scheduling time to work on our MIT first thing in the morning. Behavioral psychologist Dan Ariely talks about we are at our best for about a two hour window of time in the morning. You know, we're at our cognitive best. But what do most of us do? We stroll in with, you know, to work, we open up email, we start working on everybody else's MITs by <laughs> answering their emails and all that stuff. Before we respond to text, before we listen to voicemails, before we do email, we should work on our MIT. Golden nugget number three, work <laughs> from your calendar, not a to-do list. Stop using a to-do list. You know, I was asking all of these people, self-made billionaires, self-made millionaires, what is your number one secret of productivity? They could have said anything. And none of them mentioned a to-do list. I was about halfway through the interviews and finally I started doing the follow-up. I'm like, well, what about your to-do list? Give me some advice. They laughed at me. They're like, to-do list? You know, we work from a calendar. And as I did the research, it turns out 41% of items that people put on their to-do list are never done at all. Wow. It's like a to-do list is, is the graveyard of, you know, important but not urgent. If you really want to get something done, pick a day, a time, and a duration, and then live from your calendar. <laughs> Golden nugget number four, to overcome procrastination, beat your future self. So we need to think about, all right, how's that future evil version of ourselves gonna jeopardize our best intentions? And you know, let's say we wanna start jogging this week. We wanna, we wanna work out. Well, you know what? I'm, I know that my evil self is gonna hit that snooze alarm. How do I, how do I fight back? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my iPhone, I'm gonna set that alarm, put on the other side of the room. Nice. So I gotta literally get out of bed to shut it off. And that evil Kevin's gonna say, oh man, I don't know where my workout stuff is. I'll, I'll work out tomorrow instead. Well, you know what? I'm gonna beat that future version by putting my sneakers right at the end of my bed. In fact, I'm gonna go to sleep in my shorts and t-shirt. So I just need to put my sneakers on and I'm dressed. Nice. You know, so we just need to think about all the ways that we're gonna procrastinate all those excuses we're gonna come up with and try to beat them in the present moment. Golden nugget number five, there will always be more to do. Back when I was young, a young and dumb entrepreneur, you know, I was the guy who was just eight hours a day wasn't enough, so I'd work 16 or 20. Mm -hmm. Five days a week was enough, I'd work seven. The girlfriend or eventually the wife would be like, hey, it's six o'clock, dinner's cold, when are you coming home? Leaving the office in five minutes, then it's an hour later, I'm still in the <laughs> office. And you know, one of the things that I learned from interviewing all these people is they have this sense in their bones, like there will always be more to do. Andy Grove wrote, uh, he was the founder and CEO of Intel. And he said, you know, my day ends when I'm tired and ready to go home, not when I'm done, mm -hmm. because I am never done. Uh, a manager's work is never done. There's always more to be done, more that should be done, always more than can be done. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe we've decided that we're gonna work a 10 hour day or a 12 hour day or a six hour day. Mm -hmm. Whatever you decide, be intentional about it and then realize you've allocated other minutes for your health, which is gym time. You've allocated other minutes for your relationship, including date night or time with your kids. Golden nugget number six, always carry a notebook. Everybody I spoke to talked about carrying a notebook. You know, Richard Branson has written about it over and over again. He says the single most important possession is his little notebook. That's how he built, you know, the Virgin brand. You know, there's all these uh, people that I interviewed that just swear by this power of, of jotting down little notes, whether it's journaling or notes from meetings or words of wisdom from the books they read, but it just really changes their life. Yeah, and one of the things that David Allen always says is that our minds are best used for, uh, for processing different ideas, not to hold on to information. You'd be surprised when you start carrying around a notebook with you just how much information comes into your mind that you wanna capture. Now, when you start capturing that information, you realize, holy crap, I've been holding on to so many good like pieces of information and it's just been gone. Like I just lose it or I hold on to it and it just ruins the ability to allow your mind to free itself up to process new information, which is the best state for your mind to be in. Golden nugget number seven, control your inbox. To be honest, many of us use our email inbox 
and text messages and other social media apps as a form of procrastination, as a form of a little reward. It releases dopamine. It's kind of like pulling that mm. handle on a slot machine. It's got to be something good. And all of these companies out there and other people in our lives, they want our attention and that's fine, but it can get in the way of our productivity. So the, the bottom line is shut off the notifications on your phone on everything. It's okay to, to go to email or messages and all of that, but do it when you want to do it, not because someone else is calling you, kind of like Pavlov's dog, mm. you know, ringing a bell and I'm reaching for my phone. I process email like anything else, three times a day, morning, noon, and night. Now, again, the number's not so important, Ryan. I mean, you know, I know people who only process it once a week or once a day, and others, people will tell me, hey, I'm a stockbroker or whatever, I need to get back to people all the time. Fine, process it every 30 minutes or 15 minutes. The idea is to be intentional about it. Shut off the notifications. So if you're out there and you haven't shut off your email notifications, what are you waiting for? I've done that a long time ago. I shut it off because it's just distraction. Golden nugget number eight, schedule and attend meetings as a last resort. Now we can't all, you know, be like Mark Cuban and just say no to our boss and other people with meetings. Right. We can say no much more often. We can say no to a lot of meetings. We could say no to meetings before noon. Like let's keep our deep work in the morning, mm. then our collaborative work in the afternoon. And if you have to say yes to a meeting, say no to long meetings. Richard Branson again says, there's few meetings that need to last more than five or 10 minutes. And so that's just the idea is let's say no as often as possible, at least one day a week say no, and then try to say no to long meetings. Mm, absolutely, and that actually, you know what, that breaks us into the next golden nugget, golden nugget number <laughs> nine. Say no to everything that doesn't support your immediate goals. They're, they're not being rude, but the most highly successful people they know what their values are, their goals are, and they fill their calendar with things that'll get there. And that doesn't leave time for a lot of other other things. You know, we're raised from being really young to like, hey, you know, you, you want to be liked, so you want to help people. You're told it's nice to help people. You don't want to be rude. W what's helpful to me is when I realized that every every time I say yes to something, I'm actually saying no to another thing or many things. I got myself into so much trouble, man, because I like to be liked. And so I would say yes to people all the time, even though I knew by saying yes, it would screw up my schedule. I'd have to push other things back. In the back of my head, I was like, you're not gonna do this anymore. You're not gonna go to the gym. Your whole schedule's thrown off, off course. Getting good at saying no and doing it in a very polite way, in a delicate way, is something that a lot of you out there have to do. Golden nugget number 10, follow the powerful Pareto principle. Like, yeah, the Pareto principle um, is more commonly. But I'm gonna send it to you guys. And I think there's just a lot of good reminders in there. Everything about today is a reminder about what we need to be doing in order to be successful, right? All the basics of real estate, all the things we need to think about every day. Because we're not a nine to five, it's hard to stay on, on schedule. It's hard to stay on task, right? So we need to, to build our own uh, calendar, our own practices in, into place every single day in, in order to be, again, successful. So um, let me just mute everybody here for a minute. Just wanted to mute everybody. I hear people coughing and um, all these different things. Okay, so let me get my thing back and we'll continue. So, <clears throat> look back at 2021. So, your whole life can change in one year. Make it this one, right? Your whole life can change in a year, but in order for it to change in a year, everything that you do today is going to affect you moving down the line, right? You're not going to get a call today from a client and then tomorrow get a commission check, right? We all know that. It takes it takes weeks, it takes months, it can take years, depending on the person that calls you and what their motivation is and what they're looking to do. So again, everything we do today is going to affect our bottom line next year, right? So we have to be again consistent and um, efficient in everything that we do. 
There's some office awards I wanted to go through. I did miss last week's uh, monthly office awards, so for October. Um, and these are huge numbers, guys. So again, I thought this was so important to share because these numbers, this is for dollar volume, six units each last month in October. So for those agents who said it's very slow right now or things are going, you know, happening right now, this six units, again, didn't happen in October. They happened in April, May, June, July, right? They happened way before October came and then everything came together for them. It's all being consistent. So look at those, those uh, units and look at those numbers. I mean, huge for October when we're in a uh, deficit of inventory and, you know, it's hard to get our buyers into a property. Very fancy this time, so you have to give me. You have to, you have to bear with me. And that is good fancy. And this is the top ten for October thirty of uh, twenty twenty one of, of dollar volume. So Mara, Brenda Lee, Cheryl Talley, Gloria Lafordia, Kim Bretschka, Michael Elm, Jacob Wynn, Rose Rastiello, Christina McCarthy, Sonia Kana. So it's so funny, right? I, I I'm thinking about Rose Rastiello, right? You know, a lot of you guys have seen her around and stuff. You know, she's thinking of retiring now. So guess what we see her on the board? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go away on vacation or plan on retiring, guys, and you will be very successful in real estate. That's the plan that you should, you should you guys all have. Um, top listings for the month. Cheryl Cowley, Mara Glasberg, and Michael Elm. So congratulations. And then top sales for the month. Eric Lauber, Brenda Lee, and Kim Bretschka. So congratulations. It was a tough month last month. It's been a tough month. It's been a tough year, right? It started out really strong. Um, and then Cheryl Talley with two units at 952,000 in Wakanda Network. So really great big number. So these agents are out of this world. And you know, I just want to thank everybody. So this Growth and comfort do not co coexist. So I was saying before that, yes, we don't have to do the, the, you know, we really should focus on the things we love to do, we're passionate about, but that's not going to get us to the next level in life. You know, you have to, you have to, um, everybody has fear of picking up the phone. Everybody has fear of door hanging, right? People have different fears, people have different comfort, uh, comfortabilities. Some people don't mind going out and door hanging, so that's what you should be doing every day, or once a week, I should say. Some people don't mind making phone calls. Make sure you have that as a part of your daily, um, uh, your daily practice, right? Your, what, what you're going to be doing to, to, to be proactive. Right now, um, our upper leadership has us on the phone Monday through Friday, nine to ten, ten on a Zoom call to grow our offices. And when they first did it, I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to get anything done. This is horrible. I need to get situated in the morning. How am I ever going to do this? And guess what? Because I use my wi because I have my system up to date, it is so easy to come in, shut my door now, do my calls, go on my wi just make my calls for my system, and it's just like this. So, you know, yes, I thought at first this is going to be awful, but once I started doing it, it's the best thing that could happen to me. I made my calls today. Would I have made my calls on a planning day? No, I would have came in here, I would have started preparing, I would have went to my emails, make sure I got in touch with everybody because I was going to be out of pocket for a few hours, right? So that would have been my, my main concern for today. But because I had to do it, I did it. And then at 10 o'clock, I came in here, I started preparing, I started to, I still had plenty of time to do what I needed to do. So um, I thought this was really good to share. Top agents, the top 10 agents in our office for gross commission year to date. So, so far right now, these are the top agents. So number 10 is Jacob Wynn. Does everybody know Jacob? He runs in and out every once in a while. <laughs> so he does commercial, he does New York, he does New Jersey, he does residential, he does everything. Um, he's a really nice guy. Number nine is Joanne Vickers. Eight, Vin Dotwani. Seven, Catherine Adcock. Six, Gloria Fortier. Yeah. Five, Cheryl Cowie. Four, Kim Bretschka. Three, Michael Allen and Priscilla. You got her little face on there. <laughs> you, know, you know the nurse and the doctor. You know how that works? <laughs> 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 so 
the doctor comes in and gets all the recognition, the nurses running around all the time doing everything. Number two, Brenda Lee and the Lee team. And number one, Mara Glauberg. So that's the top 10 in our office right there. I mean, I need to share everybody's numbers, obviously, because that's personal, but the numbers are really, really uh, incredible this year. Really, really incredible numbers. Um, again, why do I do this? Because I think it's really important for a lot of agents. I know myself, when I would sit there in my office meetings, my goal was like, how, how do I get there? How, how, you know, what do I have to do to, to be up there? What do I need to do? And that was really, really important to me. I always said I was never the person that would sit on the side and watch the parade go by. I always was like, how can I be in the parade? Always, always, always from a young age, I'd see it go by and think next year I'm going to be in and I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to do that. And that's how I always, that's how my mind works. So a special thank you to these agents for making our office a great place. Again, these agents are out of this world. Of course, no. our queen. Oh. She is the queen of our office. So yesterday she said to me, guess what? I just got a new listing. I said, yes, we got you for three more months. <laughs> <laughs> because from the day I walked in, she said, you know, I'm retiring in three months. No. That was, yes, that was three and a half years ago. That You guys probably hear me for 10 years, but yes. Open house queen, Tabitha Williams. She's going to be mad that she wasn't here. She had to run out to help out another agent who's not feeling well to do a final walkthrough for them. So 39 open houses year to date. 52 right. weeks in the year, she's done 39 open houses year to date. And done a wonderful job for them. Eric Troutman, I had to give you a office spirit award. Honestly, oh since you've come back to this office this year, I think everything has changed. I don't know. Some days, Terry. <laughs> Terry, when he is, he does bring a lot of life. He helps people. He's he's really great with everybody around. If you're in your office on a daily basis, you would know what a great person he has. He is to be around. Really, quite shocking. I was shocked myself. Okay, that's why I think I had to announce it. I was shocked myself. <laughs> Question of the week, Lonnie knows it all. Our Lonnie answered almost every single question correctly on all of our weekly um, questions, you know, our fun questions of the week, our, our, our finance and mortgage questions. So, Lonnie. Huh? I said it's a good day. Dennis is the biggest, he's the biggest fan of you okay? My final answer is, Dennis is, Dennis is a dad. Yeah. A dud? A dud. Well, I mean, because he the most incorrect answers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what? If he's upset over this, I'm going to say, oh, Dennis. I thought you were going to say, no. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I, I think I was going to say, no. <laughs> but Dennis, if we didn't have Dennis on there with his final answer, would that be reading the whole question. <laughs> he yeah. just throws out an answer, his an final answer. answer, and then changed it 10 times before we finally, it still doesn't get better. <laughs> you think he just had the chat box up, see what Lonnie answered, and then scream that out as his final yeah. answer. He hasn't learned that yet. <laughs> then, our most social media followers <laughs> in our office by far, and most helpful. Most helpful. Everybody loves Vin. I know, like, I'll get a call from someone if I can't answer it. I'll call them back. They're like, I talked to Vin already. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I love that. That's awesome. Vin doesn't love it, but I love it. All right? I remember. It's all about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let me buy. And then, top agent here today with Wackley Network, the conversion and close, Tabitha Williams. She did a great job with that. She does a great job with. And then until she gets her check and then wants to beat me up in the hallway, but. <laughs> <laughs> and then toprealtors.com Hop City closers, Deb Reagan, 13 closings since she, we started about two years ago. So the most closings are Hop City, which is huge. And a lot of you guys would say they're all crappy. And she found 13 of those crappy ones. <laughs> 
Or they all fall dead. Only the good ones go to death. I'm sorry. I have no control over that. And then our top process are all in Wiker land. And I can tell you, even upper management knows that. Joe's like, I, I just assume, right? I, I know I come into office, I have Silvana, everything runs beautifully, everybody loves her, it's a perfect fit, it's a perfect match. And then other, I, I sit at my management meeting, they're like, do you do that? I'm like, don't they all? No, apparently not. Apparently they do not do. Joe tells me all the time that there is nobody like Silvana in our organization. So. Yes. All the white girls. The whole white world. And then I want, you know, I think this is really important to show, to share a mentee, someone who started in, you know, during this year especially in a tough year like we had. You know, I started in 2006 and I was not top mentee tea or anything <laughs> because again, that was a tough, tough year to start in. But this agent has done an amazing job. I mean, look at what she's done already. And she started April. I think you really need to recognize you know, that if you're doing what you need to be doing, and I think one of Kelly's best attributes is that she did come from a nine to five. She came, you know, she worked for an attorney. And so everything was very detail oriented and organized. And that's how she runs a business. So she's very, very professional. And, you know, she met, she had a different, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know. She, she had a, a different mentor when she started, a different partner. I'm not allowed to say mentor, I'm sorry. A different partner when she started. And the first day she was here, I don't even know how her and Eric met, but Eric said, go on a listening appointment. You want to come? And she's like, sure. And that's how, I mean, so she's really done well. And he threw her right that first day, threw her in and said, he, he had her do some of that listening presentation, which she had never even seen before. And of course, because she's so professional, did a great job. So congratulations, Kelly, because you're really doing an amazing job. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even remember what it's supposed to be. So special thank you to our partner, our team. So, Deb Reagan, who does an amazing job. If anyone came in this morning, she was in the conference room with her mentees or her partners and uh, going through the listening presentation with them because our speaker yesterday, who was a little unruly at times, <laughs> <laughs> mentioned something about a not to, that the way I do a listening presentation is old fashioned. And so she took over the listening presentation this morning. Said, "You're going to do the listening presentation. You're going to learn it. You're going to know it, and then you can make it your own after you know it." Then Dotwani, who always does a great job, especially for the new mentees. Eric Trotman, who just—I don't know—he went to the class and then all of a sudden started taking people on. <laughs> and Carol Polk. So thank you guys because you guys are amazing to me. It's just to make a big help to have you guys on board. And doing an amazing job as you are. I think this is the best group I've ever had as far as uh, partners. Best. Thank you to the following for your years of service. So anyone who's in a five or 10, 15, 20, 25, and the five years, um, we're going to be, you know, every uh, year, Quaker does a years of service function. So um, mm -hmm. coming up this year, on November 23rd, I feel like Christopher and Belbo, there's Diane Driscoll, who still says 10 years. Jeff Doninger, 10 years, Lori Kaplan, 10 years, Victoria Leach, 10 years, Dennis Cassidy, 10 years, Diane Rodrigo, 10 years, Carol Polk for 20 years, and Karen Crook for 35 years. <coughs> Isn't that crazy? So, congratulations to all of you guys. And thank you for your loyalty. And then these agents have actually grown their business in the past year by 50% or more, which is really huge again in this year. So Joanna Albanese, Joanne Vickers, Sonia Kana, Christina McCarthy, who has four four kids now. Oh my <laughs> She's constantly has a kid or baby, yeah. something going on. Marissa Poston, Rob Rodriguez, and Yael Morgan. Congratulations to you guys for growing your business. 50% is huge, especially in a year like this. So it can be done. Thank you to my team, Stephanie and Silvana, for their support every single day. I couldn't do it yesterday. I do without them. In fact, they do most of the stuff. I'm talking about the doctor, the nurse. <laughs> That's a perfect example. Perfect. 
and then partnering with our all under one roof advisor. So uh, we'll hear from our service tonight. Before I introduce them, um, which you know them all, Megan, Ashley, and Anthony, Naomi is online, um, our insurance. I just want to show, if you haven't seen this video, this is a two minute video, but they've actually made a less than one minute video that you can post on your social media sites. This is something I really like because you can actually share this. Um, if you're going on a listening presentation, you can send it to your client ahead of time. Like it's a really great, I think it's a great um, precursor to you coming in or sharing with them um, what you're gonna do. So let me go here. Now my, so like I said, this is a two minute, they've done it a, a one minute and they're also working on customizing it so that your, your name can come up and in it, you know, they're gonna, they're, they're working on making this very um, easy for you guys to use and send and share and post on. on the, the time has finally arrived. You're ready to start looking for your new home. You've researched, you've saved, you've pinned, yet you're starting to feel overwhelmed. Questions like where to live, how much you can afford, and how to get started are circling around in your head. It can feel like a lot, but it doesn't have to be that way. What if you had your own dedicated team that guided you through the entire process and managed everything for you? What if everything was just simple. For over 50 years, we've made it our mission at Weicker to make the home buying and selling journey as simple, enjoyable, and rewarding as possible. Our sales associates and their team of advisors work together seamlessly to ensure you have the best experience possible. From day one, we call it the all under one roof customer experience. From finding a home, your sales associate is a neighborhood specialist and expert negotiator who will help you find the ideal home and submit a winning offer that sets you apart from the rest. To securing a mortgage, your dedicated Weikert Mortgage Advisor will help you determine what you can afford and secure your pre-approval in minutes so that you can seal the deal with the weight of the Weikert name behind it. To getting you moved in on time, once your offer is accepted, your Weikert Insurance and Title Settlement Advisors will help you navigate the process to ensure that your home is properly insured and protected and that you close on time. In fact, we guarantee it. In addition to our all under one roof customer experience, you will be eligible for a $5,000 closing date guarantee plus an additional $1,000 in buyer incentives when you register at weikert.com slash we do it all. Whether you're a buyer, seller, or renter, Weikert has a customer journey that is uniquely suited and customized to meet your needs. Let Weikert manage it all under one roof, so you can focus on making memories that last a lifetime. Start your journey by speaking with a Weikert sales associate or mortgage advisor today. I said that's the longer one they've made it so that it fits instagram it fits social media facebook um so i'll get that and send it out to you guys and now they're working on actually um they're working on actually uh personalizing it for the agents as well they want it to be something you send out video is everything these days and um so whether we're comfortable with it or not it's something that we really need to to our business and real estate. So anyway, everybody knows Anthony, uh, Ashley and Megan are title advisors. Like I said, Naomi's online today. Um, so they're just going to talk a little bit um, about how they can help you get things more streamlined and you can take more control of your business. You know, yesterday, one of the questions that was asked to Anthony, who did the training for the, you know, uh, the 10 million in 12 months, um, was how do you control your business? One of the agents said, how do you control, how do you make sure that everybody that you go to your mortgage person and your attorney, because he's able to do that. And he said, because it's the conversation I have from the beginning. Before I take them out, I said, this is my team that I have, and this is how I work with them. So do you know how much you, you know, what, what do you, what, how much are you looking to, what's the home price you're looking to purchase? And they say 600,000. He says, well, do you know what that means in a monthly payment? They said, no. 
I said, well, how do you know that, 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 that that's your, you know, what you can afford? You need to, and then calls up and gets him right on the phone. You know, that's how he does it. And this is my, uh, this is the attorney I use. I use them personally. I use her for all my transactions. She gets the job done. She's available when I am. And it's that conversation right then and there. It's not when they found the house they want, you're rushing to get an offer in, and now you're trying to put all these pieces together. That's, it's, you can't do it that way. It has to be from the beginning. It has to be told from the beginning. So, anyway. Going off that point real quick, can I just read off? Of course, please. So, we always use the reference almost like this existed, right? So, if you're going to a listing, and you walk in, and you sit down, and you kind of evaluate, you know, the home price, and they say, I want to list for a million. And you know the house is worth nothing more than six hundred thousand dollars. Are you going to take the listing at a million dollars? No, because you're not going to work for free. You know it's just going to sit there. It's going to expire, and someone else is going to roll in, and they're going to lower it because they waited six months till it expired, and now they're going to lower it, and then some other agent can do it for you. When you have buyers, like Missy just said, they say, "Okay, I want to buy a house for six hundred thousand dollars." And they're like, "Okay, great." You know, get a pre approval and Anthony and pre approve them for free. You're not going to show them houses for six because you know they can't afford it, right? So it, people always come back to us and say, well, we don't want to rock the boat, especially in this kind of market, and push the attorneys or push the mortgage reps. But if you can rock the boat by saying your house is not worth a million dollars, sorry, it's only worth six, or I can't show you houses for six hundred thousand dollars because you only have a pre approval for three hundred. Why don't we look in that area of what you can afford? You're able to have that simple conversation of this is who I work with. Trust me, use these people because you're going to get to the closing table and you're going to get there quickly and smoothly because this is my team. This is who. I trust that this is who I work with, this is who I know will do right by you guys. If you use Bob Schmo for title and you use Joe Schmo for mortgage, I have no control. I have no idea what they're going to do for you. I found you this great house that we've worked so long for. Don't lose it because the attorney's not going to do a good job or the mortgage company's going to take forever and, and delay closing and all these kind of things that can happen on that end. Just trust me and they should trust you. If you're able to get them to work with you, you have some kind of partnership with that person on it. You have their commitment to follow your judgment to buy their home or sell their home, which is huge. That's that's a commitment of you know everything that they're trusting in you. If you circle back to the services, it's really going to just make you shine even more because it's going to be a seamless process and they're going to get to the closing table and they're going to thank you for it. So it doesn't have to be our attorney. If they want to use Bob's attorney because it's their brother-in-law, okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Try to push. If you're really going to push back and you really feel like you're just, you know, it's oil and water and you're not getting anywhere with it, tell them then have Bob use white dirt closing first. Because that is the most important piece of the puzzle to close, right? We gotta do a good job, we gotta get there, we gotta close so that you guys can get paid, so that they can get their new home and sell their house. So you can have Bob use Wiker to do the closing. It doesn't have to be one of our attorneys off of our off of our sheet. And then you can still try to give them that comfort of I at least know that Wiker is gonna do a good job and close good for you. Use them and have Bob order title with them. So it doesn't just have to be our attorney. I just want to make sure everyone knows that any attorney can use any title company. So it's the same price, title state regulated. They're not going to get a deal from Bob title company that they're not going to get from us. It's the same fee. So if you explain it's the same price, you're not getting a better deal. Trust me on who is going to do a good job for you and just try to. Guide them like you're doing with the whole entire process of selling or buying. True. And you know, guys, every single person in this room, I don't care if you're new or not, 
has worked with a bad attorney that or attorney that was not chosen by you and you had no communication and you were, you were just standing there every day saying, I don't know what to tell you, Mr. or Mr. Buyer or Mr. Mrs. Seller. I can't get in touch with the other person's attorney, therefore I don't know what to do. Like nobody's responding back to me. That's why everything's taking so long. Even our attorney is trying to get in touch with them, you know, or the other attorney is trying to get in touch with them. It's horrible. It makes your life miserable. And in order to control that con that uh, transaction, you have to use the people that you trust, that you know are going to get the job done on a daily basis. You guys all have our phone numbers. We work your hours. You guys can have us call us, text us anytime. And we got I know many of you have reached out on the back end, but it's super helpful for doing things. I already had it. one that we talked a lot about to get it through to the phone with people. And that's what we're here for. We want to, you know, be that person that you can yeah, this and same thing here. I mean, we've been talking about this for the county's part of the partnership and controlling the business. It's, it's the most critical thing. I had a bill last week where the buyer picked his own attorney. The attorney killed the deal. That's unfortunate. I mean, buyers really wanted the house. Buyers who really, owners who were desperate, they really needed to get a property. And I went back in the hunt. They were starting to freak out about it. So this one around, get them involved with one of the attorneys. It's super critical, and the deal's coming in, and how fast things are going, and people staying, how the offers are coming in. If you're delaying, they are. It's super important to get someone in and out. Not that we're trying to you know, have it where we get in and out, and I don't know what's going to happen. It's super important that all the players know what's important. Hey, there's 20 offers on this house in this direction. We, we need to kind of communicate ASAP to get that going. But I can tell you right now, 50, 60% of the transactions still don't go that way. You still go in the week that they're going to head off to. And same thing about finance. Every day I sit in the office and everybody comes in and sits down and we have psychiatrist conversation about the deal at Walmart because they want to talk to you. I think you need to either change the dialogue or, or take a step back with it. It's super critical. If you're not comfortable with it, you have to be sitting and kind of get training on it or whatever it may be. It doesn't cost anybody to sit down. Everybody gets the whole concern about running credit and, oh my God, I don't want to run credit again. I already ran into it. Some of those credit within two weeks period, I'm pulling the same exact credit from them. It doesn't affect anybody's credit score at all. So they could do all their research and development they want from that point. But to know that you're running a, a good qualified buyer is the most critical thing, especially in this market, because you don't know who makes up your mind. I mean, too many people are running around there, I get a hold of them, you know, they weren't qualified for that month. And there's people freaking out, never hearing from them again, never turning to buyer, they're never qualified. Um, in this market, most important. Working with the right buyers is, is the most critical thing. And, and kind of working with partnership, I think, is the most important. When someone's taking someone out on the weekend, I would love to get an email on a Friday or a text. Hey, I'm taking out the Johnsons. Nancy sent me a great email on Friday. I'm going out this couple. I know at that point, hopefully, me and Nancy are going to be talking for the weekend. What are you doing Friday? We engage again. She sent me a forward email. Hey, it didn't work out, you know, but at least we're kind of, you know, partnering all the way through the entire process. And I'm able to drop a note to the client. Hey, how to go this week? I'm not in the know. I don't. I can try to reach out to everybody as much as possible as it is, but kind of keeping it in update and clear tools. I love all that stuff because I'm able to engage the customer. The market's changing. Update them on what the rates look like, what that payment looks like on the house. Super critical. People are missing some of the tool. Even I didn't say it too as well. Everybody's going online. Your technology is the way of the future. You're not going to stop that trend whatsoever. So people go online, they get their three, four, six hundred thousand dollars, and they send it over to Missy. And Missy starts selling houses. Missy never kind of did a deep dive. For me, the first thing I ask the customer is, what are you paying rent? Do you want to pay your mortgage? Are you comfortable? Are your renting for $1,300? If you're looking to $4,000 house, you pay 10000 in taxes. That payment's going to be more than twice the amount. Are you okay with that? Is that comfortable for you and your family? Mm -hmm. If they're not, why would you run around for free approval for $600,000 if you're really a $200,000 buyer? Yeah, they might qualify for that, but that might not be the so again, I have that more consultative approach versus some automated engine just kicking out a pre-approval. Next thing you know, your deal's falling apart because they really start talking to someone three months down the road. They're like, "Hey, the payment's this much." I talked to a customer yesterday. He looked at a brand new construction, and he sees the tax on the brand new construction of four thousand, seven hundred thousand dollar house. I, go, I know the area. I know where the house is. People pay for twenty thousand in taxes. He goes, "Wait, are you serious?" I'm like, "Yeah, the payment will be twenty five hundred a month." He goes. What the hell am I going to look at it for? Not sure, but we're going to kind of, you know, get everything kind of straightened out again. 
and we come up with a different plan to use different market to look at because where he's looking, newer type homes, it's going to be very expensive. So it's going to deliver a much too expensive thing for any day. So that stuff is just really critical. And again, a lot of us would appreciate everything from an opportunity standpoint. Just, just keep your comments so we can kind of keep everybody in play. And that will be the best way. You can grow your business by that. Should be one of the things where we're talking about daily holds. It should be taking control of that transaction. The minute you should have a process in place. I need a buyer. This is my process. This is what it looks like. I'm going to have a consultation with them of some type. Okay? And I'm going to get all everything in order. If they're not willing to do that, then they're going to waste a lot of your time moving down the road. So a few more minutes with a little bit more time up front is going to save you a lot of time at the end. Same thing with a seller. You have to, you, you go into a seller consultation, you know exactly what you're going to say, right? You go through everything that you're going to do, how the process works. I mean, we go through everything. With the buyer, we just let them run us around like crazy. We don't do anything. We're DDOs, designated oral parents. That's what we are to some of them. They don't know the difference between me, Kelly, Deb, Lonnie. They don't know. They just know that they want to see a house and we're the only vehicle to get them into that house. That's all they know. So unless somebody's mistaken the time and saying, listen, I want to make a commitment to you. I want to work with you as a team. Let's go over some of the things that that, that will help us get there. We'll help you get that same type of sell. This is a very volatile market. I think you need to understand how it's going to work ahead of time. But I don't want you disappointed in a few weeks when you find a house to be great. You know, do you think anybody's going to say, no, I don't have time for that? If they do, then they will get their nuts here in summer. You know what I'm saying? So we have to take the time up front, like we do with sellers, and explain the whole process. And stop running out when someone wants to meet us without any, just for safety reasons, or, you know, just for our frame of mind. Because then what, you, what did we say? Real estate sucks. Well, real estate doesn't suck. We suck. We suck at what we do because we're not doing it in... We don't have a system in place. We don't have a, 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 you know, a business practice in place. We're just running around like cowboys and Indians, not you know, not realizing what we're doing. So we have to take control of our business. And I think that's the thing you really need to understand. This is our business. It's our business. And you know, you guys work your butts off every single day. I see what you go through. I've been through it myself. It's horrible, right? Half the week you want to lay in fetal position. Right? Look in your rooms. That's all you want to do. You just want to cry in bed. But you can't. You get up, you keep going, you keep fighting. And so you guys work so hard. Make sure that you're making the most of every relationship that you build with your clients. It's huge. It's huge. I want you to be the most successful people in the world. Not for me, like I always pretend. Not for Wiker. For you. Honestly, I would love no more. I would sleep so beautifully at night if all of you had attained your goals every year. It would make me. No, no more happier than anything else I've done in my life, honestly. So, um, you guys want to add anything else? Thank you guys always for being supportive. Uh, and don't forget your we do it all guarantee, guys. I mean, I see I, this weekend I saw a lot coming through. I was so happy every time you you or one of your clients signed up. Um, they get a notification. You get a notification. Our support team gets a notification. And so there was a few that came through this weekend, which is really nice. And that just means that your clients are getting an opportunity to take advantage of getting a $500 home warranty uh, when they close, a $500 credit on their closing uh, disclosure, and what was the other thing? $50 gift card. $50 gift card, that's it. Right. So they're getting over $1,000 in benefits for using your team, for you controlling your business, for them getting a great experience. So don't forget, have sign everybody up and let them make the determination. Everybody that you're working with should be signed up and then they can make the determination of what's good or going to use. At least they get the opportunity. Can we order title for our listings? Is everything that's going on with the paperwork now? They can, but it's $250 charge. If they want, because there's not going to be an actual title binder that comes out from it. So it's a search fee, 250 which normally a search fee is around four seventy five, so it's a really good rate for Jim put out. Um, but it's two fifty for a search. So you're saying get a title search for your seller to make sure, to make sure that there's nothing that they know ahead of time. It's almost like getting a free home inspection and yeah. yeah. identifying before. Okay. Which we and have a lot of people yeah. do that. that a lot. So that's why you know I said the normal fee is like four seventy five, and Jim put them to two fifty because we were getting a lot of that. So we certainly can. Yes, absolutely. And it's very easy to the seller just Venmo's um, or PayPal to us and the search goes right to them. It's 
where they put solar, put the solar gets in, but you have to do it again. But the buyer is going to have to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, is there a good point to having two devices? Well, well, the seller we needs to rectify if anything yeah. goes back before they can actually sell those. We've had three deals. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. We've had three. When everybody was refinancing their dead houses, it was five by Joe Schmo Mortgage Company. Mortgage still has the paperwork that makes the mortgage uh, discharge mm -hmm. And now they're like GMAT that is the system. Uh, was it up? The, like three of them were out of business that were paying back then. You can't trace anybody down. Yeah. 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 And it yeah. takes weeks yeah. and weeks and longer. Yeah, so if you think you're closing next week and then there's a mortgage dis discharge, it happened to me. The summer. If, it, if there's a, there's a, a mortgage that's not discharged, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, now you're waiting a month or 45 days or 60 days, yes, because now that, that now everything's going through that. So it does happen. There are things that come up. So for 250 for peace of mind, I don't think a that's lot a lot of times at all. we'll have people like it was their parents' home and it was left to them to the see if they want to run a search just to make sure there wasn't any like chemicals or judgments or liens attached because it wasn't their mortgage. They don't know, you know, every detail. So for 200 bucks, they'll run a search before they go to sell it because you take a listing and you go to sell it and you get a buyer and you get a lien for, you know, $500,000 on this house. That seller needs to rectify it because the buyer can't buy it. He's lien titled. So, so that example exactly could I closed one two weeks ago. Physical transaction, inherited property, Sellers, uh, buyer's attorney waited until forever to order title. And after wiped their title, unfortunately, and something came up with title, and the lead has been waiting weeks and weeks and weeks. And then you have a son going, I, I don't know, I just inherited the property. I have no idea exactly. what was going on. And also, too, there's another thing all of our wedges attorneys order title and they're going to get So they feel right away that there's a deal with you and you can come by immediately. I have a long close on Monday. Brand X attorney still isn't closing. Closing Monday? Well, not closing Monday. 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 Not to their own wanting, but that title company is going to charge a fee if you don't close. So they wait because who wants to pay a fee if they're not going to sell that house, right? So they wait for home inspection, they wait for mortgage commitment because they don't want to pay a fee. But we don't do that. So that's the only reason we're able to do it early is because there's no fee that gets charged to those I had a charge that they canceled the after the title was done run because the home inspection issue, whatever, if your your client doesn't get charged, so it doesn't matter. Right. So that's why it makes sense because now they can get they can order earlier and then they can get on top of any uh, issues that may arise that they weren't aware of. So all right guys, follow oh, the right, right. oh. yeah, sure. um, buyer consultation that one of the things that's always come up is that people have already gone online and got pretty clear sure. information, and it's hard to come back to them. Right. And they say, I don't want to turn in my credit sure. because I don't want that. And I explained about a soft search or whatever. And I, I think for me, it would be helpful if I had something in writing so as part of my process when okay. I do the paperwork, I could show them something sure. from what Sure. Okay. Well, what if, Terry, like, would it be helpful? And again, this is your comfortability. If when you did a buyer's consultation, if Anthony was around or if you could hear yeah, it. Because, if, if yes, if and then he could, it. right, right. Sometimes or even on Zoom or I don't know, if, if, you're, if you're not there. Yeah. Sometimes they're really interested in meeting them. You know how they want to. Yes. So yes. this is how this is going to help the practice. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. especially if you're a referral, you know, you're, you're trying to keep things at a lower level. You still need to get your 
point across about what's important, and she mentioned in order to tell me how that has to be important. But I would think, well, so if I'm not teaching about that, the check would not be correct. So okay. that, that's come up for me a lot. And that's legal. It's not something that we're just stealing. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's that two week period between someone pulls credit, and you pull credit 50 times within that two week period, and it doesn't hard inquiry, hard inquiry, hard inquiry. I know, but you can make up yeah. something like that. That would probably be good for a lot of people. If, if Terry is looking for it, I'm sure a lot of things would be good to use it. Oh, no, I've already checked with Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
unless I want to get beaten up here because we're going to I, I can only do so much. Mm. Why is my thing not working? <laughs> well, that makes sense. Tabitha, time management will be the key point that we put out in the first Yes. Time management. Don't talk about you. What was that? Mm. I, can't, I can't hear you. Yes, it was say no. The first thing they said is say no. No. Let's see if I can. So that's why she's like not showing the. Okay. No okay, here we go. So I know this is going to be the silliest thing you've ever heard, but everybody I've said it to so far was like, aha, uh -huh, like I was. So Tabitha brought me this beautiful hourglass and she said, listen, you can put this like this. Every time someone comes to office, you can do this. And then, and then when it's done, you're done. And I said, Tabitha, how long is it? She said, an hour. And I said, well, I don't want that. <laughs> I want the five minute hour class. I want the five minute class. So then it hit me. Duh, it's an hour class. Of course it's going to be an hour. Does anyone else ever think of that before? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I never put it down because I never thought about it. So anyway, the hour class. So again, thinking about time. So I thought that was appropriate to share with you guys. Yes. She thinks I should sit an hour with everybody who has a question in the office. <laughs> that's the time limit because you know that's, that's oh that's Mara, the time limit. Look, Mara. We're so bad. We're so bad. We, just, we just got off the rail. Always, always. It wasn't my fault. You posted her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So time is free, guys, right? And so we take advantage of everything that's free. We don't pay for it emotionally or financially. We don't give it any, we don't give it a second thought. So, um, but it's priceless, time is priceless. And I love the way they said, we all have the same amount of time in the day, right? So top producers, they have the same amount of time. God doesn't say, I'm gonna give you more time because you're doing more work. It doesn't happen that way. It's just how we use our time every day that makes the most sense. So automate activities to create more time for your face-to-face -face appointments, make a plan, daily, weekly, monthly, annually. That's what everybody should be doing right now. Focus on what brings you results. So you should be able to look at last year's activities and say, oh, this is where I got my most productivity from. This is where I'm gonna invest more time or more money. This I didn't get anything from, so I'm not gonna do that anymore, right? That's what we should be able to do each year if we're, if we're um, consistently putting down what we do or tracking what we do, I should say. If you do not get the desired results, change the activity or the process. Use the tools. So reflecting on 2021, did you incorporate enough prospecting and lead generation activities into your business? Ask yourself that. Include more activities, spend more time on activities, time management system, contact management, follow up. Use the tools and systems available or change your process if it's not working for you. So look at your 2021 business plan. So if you have not done it and you're sitting here today, and I know who you are, <laughs> just FYI, um, it's very easy to do. You go on to Record One and you go into Record University and then it says business planning tool. Okay, you click on the business planning tool and it says start plan. And then you can hit um, skip baseline. That's what I would do. Okay, the baseline, if you don't want to skip the baseline, it takes you into two Excel spreadsheets one that tracks your uh, income and expenses, and one that tracks mm -hmm. your activities, your income producing activities. So it does include those, but the simplest form just to get started is for you to go in and just do um, your skip baseline and then answer the questions. And you answer the questions on what you're planning on doing moving forward for the next year, okay? Not what you did in the past year. What am I planning on doing moving forward in the next year? So that's how you're gonna do uh, your plan. Takes about 10 minutes only. And the, the base, the reason why we push this so much, why I'm really pushing 100% um, completion in our office 
is because for nothing more, it reminds every single person of the activities that they're supposed to do on a daily basis. So it makes you go through the activities and answer and, and answer the questions based on what you're going to do moving forward. And that's a reminder. Everybody needs a reminder. In fact, someone came into my office like two weeks ago who did it, and uh, they've been in the business a long, long time. They're like, you know what? I was shocked at all the things I stopped doing. And that's the, that, that's the reasoning behind it. It just reminds you of something that you're doing. So, um, and then it's, a, it's all the activity of the calendar. I mean, it really does everything for you as much as you want to use, you can. And then once I get that notification, starting right after today, because it was taking a lot of time working on, uh, you know, getting this together, um, I'm going to be making one-on-ones with everybody who does their plan, so we can just go over and see how we can get this plan done. So, real estate in today's market. In 2020, we learned new ways and new technologies to be successful. Many of these boosted our productivity and provided us access to a larger audience. There will always be a need for virtual, digital, and face-to-face -face interactions. Make a goal of adding one new prospecting activity to your business every quarter for 2022. So again, putting it into small baby steps. Make a goal of adding one new prospecting activity to your business every quarter for 2022. Not every day, not every week. Make it manageable for you, not overwhelming. Join your community or your town board. Participate in the neighborhood or charity event. Have a client appreciation party. Who here remembers when I started here three and a half years ago, the week after I started, we had a um, happy hour at, um, it was Zinberger at the time, right? We had a happy hour at Zinberger. And that night, the Elms were doing a client appreciation slash open house, Twilight Open House, at a house in Randolph. And a lot of us went there afterwards. A lot of, there was probably at least a good 10, 15 of us that went. And they had, um, what kind of car was it there, Michael? That was, I think it was uh, a, a Lamborghini was out front, you know, so the company who had a Lamborghini was marketing their Lamborghini out front. It was almost a $2 million house. There was a wine uh, connoisseur there or a wine person, and he was, um, you know, doing wine tastings in one room. And then there was a band out in the back and there was a caterer over here and it was this whole big experience. And when you pulled up, you had to walk like a quarter mile to get, because the, the cars were lined up down the street. You had to walk like a quarter of a mile to get to the house. To get there. So that's an experience, right? That's a nice way of doing something. If you get a high end, invite your past clients, make it a client appreciation, make it a um, open house for agents, neighbors, anybody who wants to come through, great experience. Participate in market seminar with your home ownership advisors. I have an agent in our office who's one person out of 110 who listened to me, and they're doing a market seminar uh, coming up. And we have the buyer seminar, we have the seller seminar. It's already done for you, the PowerPoint. You just have to customize maybe one or two pages, and then you can market that. I know one of the agents in the Morristown office during COVID, um, her name is Lisa. Molinari. She was doing them consistently every other Saturday during COVID last summer. Um, she was she was marketing it into in the tap and then doing it on a Saturday morning via Zoom. Because right, you can do these things via Zoom now. That's the beauty. You don't even have to get a place anymore. And she was getting listings during that time just from those uh, seminars. Think about how many sellers are out there right now, and even buyers. We're like, I don't even know what's going on. There's what is the market going to crash? Um, they all think the market's going to crash. By the way. They all believe the market's going to crash and that next year the home price is going to be really low and they're going to get a great uh, buy, which is not going to happen. So we need to be the ones as the consultants to share that information with them. So great way to get in front of people. Join or start a meetup group. Knock on doors and get something unique. We can help you with those things. Film a video about your farm neighborhood. Again, videos are all the rage right now when it comes to marketing yourself uh, on and branding yourself, especially with social media. Grow your social media presence through LinkedIn if you're not, uh, Instagram, participate in Facebook groups in your farm area, YouTube, podcast, host, or be a guest, write an ebook, host a virtual first time buyer question and answer session. All these things, again, I don't expect anybody to do everything. But hopefully one of the things that comes up, that pops up, is like, oh, I can do that. Well, that's 
I've been thinking about that. That's something I want to do. You just focus on that one activity. Answer real estate questions on online forums. So virtual open houses, you can still do virtual open houses, right? You can take someone through it in a video. Have past clients give a video testimonial. Post on social media and your website. Make a commercial about your services. Post them on YouTube. Create a landing page. Make a year in review video. Show pictures and videos of your working. Of you working. Highlight and close transactions. Those are all huge. Um, Gloria LaForge, your son Chris, he can do, he does commercial, do a video. Uh, Chris Andre is from Clifton Office. He does um, property. You know, if you get a property, you want to do a video, you're featured in it, and then the property is featured. So there's a lot of resources that we have if that's something that you're looking to do. So use your tools, your smart campaigns, newsletters, speed pages, landing pages, score social, marketing reports, matching buyers, start a blog. Thank you, MTS, about that. Listing playbook, property boost, texting, QR code marketing. Everybody should have their QRs everywhere. Everywhere you are today, you're taking your phone out and you're scanning that QR code, right? Everybody's doing it. Um, customize your website. Add, add customized tabs for your specific market. You can have a tab for every different market that you have on top. And once you do one, then it's easy to do the other one. So are you truly committed to this business and to your success? If so, act like it and put your systems in place so your business can run smoothly with or without your direct daily involvement. So speaking about free uh, resources that are overlooked, especially so much in our office versus other offices, I don't know why, is our, our um, my web platform. That should be on automation. Uh, everybody, you put it in and that's it, automated. So yesterday's speaker said, loves, um, that every time they met people at open houses, what they would do is they have them sign in on their on their phone, they, or they take their if the person's information, they type it into their own phone, take a screenshot of it, go home that night and put it in and set them up on a campaign. Because they would ask those persons what you're looking for, what what areas, what price points, and then they set them up on the campaign, and would get responses from them because their agent wasn't doing that. So again, there's so many ways to use it. So with that said. Um, Stephanie? Hi, everybody. I'm not used to talking in such a big room. I know. Sorry about that. It's very hot. <laughs> my, my voice has been traveling so far. Um, thank you all for being here. So quickly, I just wanted to go through a couple of slides. Just want to remind you who I am. I don't think anyone knows exactly what I do. It's not just about my white hair. I do have uh, 20 years of uh, marketing and sales and graphic design experience. Um, a lot of people do now, but I just wanted to remind you that I'm here for you guys. Missy already mentioned it, but I definitely am here for you. Nothing will make me happier than you guys be successful. Really, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Not just about my white hair, you guys. I'll show you that. So come and meet with me. Let's talk about your business plan for uh, 2022. Hopefully it includes your marketing, uh, what you guys should be doing with our tools and some techniques also helping you. Um, you know, please meet with me. I'm back in the office. Um, so I'm not going to do a five demo today, although I was planning on it, but I did this format. I'm just going to show you some slides about two new features of uh, the new My Wiker. We had the new My Wiker uh, roll out a couple of months ago. I just want to show you couple of new features that I really think is a game changer and, and pretty cool stuff so I have my clients here. So we have the listing playbook um, that you guys have seen. I just want to go over what exactly that is. Um, it's literally about promoting listings that you have and what we have in the office actually to promote other, uh, other listings as well. Um, it, it really is truly an easy, you know, step by step. It takes you through the activities that you are doing to promote um, listings uh, with different tools within my wiper. It's based on you know proven best practices for promoting and advertising a listing. Um, it's also specifically designed for you guys to save time. So I'm trying to remember what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. It really simplifies it for you and keeps you through it nicely. So how to find it. <clears throat> There's two places, but the easiest step is back towards the, the middle tiles of promoting the listing. Uh, promoting 
be missing. Maybe just click on it, for example. And it has a uh, plea, what they call plea. So there's seven different plays in plea. Play number one is notify agents in our office, although we put it on the slide. It's always nice to have it in the email. Uh, when that agent receives that email, um, it can actually match buyers within your uh, smart CRM that are appropriate for that listing based on the town. Um, so anybody who set up a search order, it will show you um, who that who that person is in your CRM. It doesn't automatically send them an email because that's not what you would do, but it shows you that um, potentially people that you might have forgotten about. Um, it utilizes a custom uh, text code. It has the uh, other place to find the properties. Um, it shows you the landing page and the use pages that you do. You can also initiate a seller report and activate a smart campaign all within the, this one section of the um, network. So here's the step by step. Number one, click on promoting new listing. Number two, you choose on the right hand side there where it says my listing you uh, start a new playbook. So you open one that you've already started or start a new one. What you would do is if it's not your listing, if it is your listing, it will automatically show you what your listings are. It's only after you listing four you can choose one from the office. Um, to start a new playbook, you click start promoting. Again, if you don't have any inventory, you can choose from, uh, if they call the company, let's say you can find company in office, office or something, you click the green smart promoting button. Um, and then it will open up in uh, seven steps that you can take. Uh, so the first one is notifying the office. So um, you can choose um, the whole office, or if you have teams, you can choose a specific team. Or if you want to send it to some specific user who you know maybe covers that area um, that you want to show that it's good, really good for your own listing so you can you know, see that person often or you don't have access to them, it's a way to get them to that, um, to that person. There's a pre-made template. It's a pretty good template because you don't have to change it as much as you want, but you do only have to go there. It's, it's, it seems well made. Uh, so you can learn. And again, we have that find and matching buyers button. So when that email is received by that other agent, they're able to click on that button and it will show them what buyers they have in their own CRM that matches that listing in their account. So number two, the play number two, you can send a text message um, or you can schedule an email that is to consumers, so this is to buyers. Um, so what would happen is you can click on the list button or you know it automatically will show you those people. Um, if you don't have anybody that fits those that buyer's description, you can choose a hashtag if you want to use that to use specific hashtag and that type of email. There's a bunch of things you can do. You can schedule your email again. It's already a pre-made email. It's pretty good. You don't really have to change it to create the subject if you want it. Um, really there's only so many lines here to really just see how it looks with, with that all in one box. Um, this is good then. Play number three is the custom text code. So it automatically creates a text code based on that proper mm -hmm. address. So in this case, it says one Dow Warren. Um, if it was one to three Main Street, it would probably would say one to three Main X or Main A Street, something like that. It, automa it automatically creates that for you in your CRM. You're able to utilize this on print or on email marketing, whatever you want to use. Again, a lot of places are custom now because they just want to use their phone and not do anything like that. It's good to have that uh, text code already pre made. I uh, think so you can copy and paste into a slide or flip chart, whatever you want to do. This is great for making a budget that you want to do. Um, play number four, we all know about property groups. This is that kind of paid advertising that utilizes Facebook AI. Um, this is another place to find it now. It's kind of been rebranded to be what it's really called before. But it um, kind of takes you to the same um, interface where you put in your credit card and you check how long you want to run it for, and you can choose what your page looks like and whatnot. It's the same kind of thing, so it's nice. And play number five, it automatically now creates an in-page or landing page for you. So you don't even have to do it yourself every time. You still can, but now it automatically creates a landing page or a street page based on that address. Easy, super easy just to click post on Facebook and it opens up the Facebook interface. You're able to automatically post it. You can group it from there, whatever you want to do. Um, there's a place for um, your virtual there's a virtual tour that your uh, corporate is really seeing in, in some areas of the country where you can see it there. So that's that and the visual promotion. 
And number six, uh, and number six is adding the seller. So it's really good for listing agent. If you want to send your seller how your ad is doing on, on sorry, how the listing is doing on your on the on, uh, listing agent's website, you can automatically have an email go to them or to me showing them how how many clicks, how many impressions it's got. Some people don't need to do that to only see our as well. And the last one is activating the smart campaign. So we just have a bunch of campaigns already in there. This would be um, a campaign that automatically gets triggered once uh, they, you know, click on any of those things that happen. Um, so that they can stop the automatic campaign and start the campaign. Um, so that's it. So once you finish with Facebook, you can actually go back and, and see how your Facebook is doing. If anybody has, has opened an email, if you want anything like that, you're able to just open it. And we do things that you want to do. If you want to share your listings on the first week, we also you know you want to send that out there too. You can send that email out again. So we go back and revisit our Facebook that you've already sent. And then, and you can also get the results. You can see how many people have opened it, any any uh, agents that have opened it. And And then the last um, tab up there is um, quick sheets. If you wanted to grab any of those um, automatic links that it makes for you, or the text code or anything, you're able to do that through quick sheets. Any questions on the playbook? It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to do. Um, two additional playbooks are coming out for this is obviously for listings. They have one coming out uh, for Sphere and I think uh, one for Open House. It actually is supposed to be out today, so hopefully I'll have something more on that. Any questions, guys, on anything? Anything else? Anything? That's it. And don't worry, I'm okay. Thank you, guys. So, it's now time. <laughs> Game time. <laughs> so everybody has their papers? Yeah, yes, yes. So the first questions are going to be right up. It's not Jeopardy yet. So the first questions are the ones that are here. Jeopardy are ones that Stephanie put together. So turn around to the back of your page. What we're going to do is write your name on the page. We're going to go through the top, the, the four um, winners are going to receive uh, gift cards to Design Summit. So you won't know today is what I'm telling you. Because <laughs> we, we, we will tally them later. That's oh, Solana and I. So on the back, you're going to write your answers to this. Oh, look, look what you did. Look at look. <laughs> Who's the smartest person in this room? Who is the smartest person in this room? Lonnie? No, you are because you sat next to Lonnie. <laughs> For these first four questions, and then we'll get into Jeopardy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You guys ready? If you're on uh, Zoom, then just put it into the chat box, please. I know, I know. I guess without you there. So sales scenario one, sales associate. I have a problem. My old co-worker called me last night and wants me to list his house. He tried with another broker who couldn't sell it, and now he's away working on a glacier in Antarctica. If I can't get it back on the market this week, he's going to call another broker. Miss manager, what can I do to make this happen? I really want this listing. So what does he need to do? <laughs> so it's, it's one of the white group tools that you have in your that you use on a daily basis or you should that will help you with your client in antarctica mm. Lenny, you can back here. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on, Lenny. laughs> <laughs> Are you saying literally, Tabitha? Right, right, that too? <laughs> so think of something that we use in Waker that Waker provides to you as a tool. Sorry. Oh my God, sorry, Missy. 
Oh my God, I can't. And this is like a comedy show. They're all cheating up here, by the way. <laughs> is, this a is this a collaboration? Oh, fair <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it's the other picture. You guys are really thinking about that. And if anything yeah. has just crossed out, they're not they're not gonna get the card. They got three winners. Why Docu sign e signature. Come on, oh. I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who's supposed to write it down? Yeah, yeah, you know, oh, okay. Yeah, you give you a chance. I'll give you 10 minutes and show you. <laughs> <laughs> they need like they need smoke signals as well. And I, and I, is dot loop acceptable? No, it is not. It's dot loop. We don't have dot loop, girl. Yep. So, Sam Associate, my seller is so frustrated that he is threatening to withdraw his listing. We received over five offers at the first open house, accepted one, but it fell apart because the buyer wasn't qualified. He moved on to the backup offer, which was by buyer, and it fell apart again. This is Mr. Anderson. What can I do differently? <laughs> Did you get that from me? That story? No, <laughs> that is my story. <laughs> Come on, I didn't, pick, said, it up. I didn't pick up these. <laughs> Cheap pens you got here. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say we were high class. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. How many questions wrong? Lenny, you get the special one. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Priscilla, your and Michael's uh, plan done by midnight tonight. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Got to negotiate with them. <laughs> okay, what do you have? The tower clamp on this one? We do it all here? guaranteed. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we got one winner. <laughs> no, it's only part because of Morgan. Okay. Scenario three. So you know I've been working here and successful for over 20 years, but I can't do business in this market. Mm. Yeah, just push a nut chart. Oh, <laughs> my MPS has helped me a lot with my white girl, but I don't know how to do these virtual meetings and customize the PowerPoint slides. It's just too much. Miss Manager, what else can I try? Mm. <laughs> Wiper Community Professional Development Series. So those are trainings that you can go on any time and you can, <laughs> Lonnie's on her phone. <laughs> She's there, she wants to, what is that called in the cash cab when you get to, you know, oh, call yeah. out? <laughs> call a friend. Call a friend. Call a friend. Call a friend right now. Would that be the same as what your university is? I would say yes. I would go with Wiper University, yes. I think this is, I don't think anybody would know this whole thing. Wiper yeah. University is sufficient. And we have different facilities. So I have a new listing with very motivated sellers who have already moved. They want to see immediate activity, but they don't think our coming student program is beneficial to them. Mr. Manager, what else can I offer that really differentiates my service from other yep. brokers? <laughs> Lori said that was easy, okay, Carol? You need to freshen it up, baby. <laughs> Ready for the solution? No, no, no. Exclusive location. 
Mystic playbook. Everybody should have got that right. Yes, exactly. Everybody should have got that right. If you were paying attention five minutes ago. <laughs> My buyers have been outbid on the last three properties, disregarding all my guidance I provide. After the last one, they're reconsidering buying at all. This manager, what else can I use to help them understand the current market? <laughs> that says there's so many. Can I still explain it? As long as you get the right one. Yes, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Sadly enough, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's talking about triangle. <laughs> the solution, fire, fire, get the home you want. So that's something that Wegner put together this year for you guys to show you the difference when prices go up and if interest rates go up. So I put fire in <laughs> We're getting Jeopardy now, okay? That was those were the micro ones that they put together for you. I can't help you, but it did make you think, right? So everybody has to now turn your page around. Make sure your name is on it, so I don't have to come figure out your handwriting. I don't have to do a handwriting analysis next week to figure out who wrote what. Unfortunately, these we don't have the actual answer online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to let Lanny because she's our what, top question winner, <laughs> our know it all gal. You're going to pick the first category marketing for 100. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, my name is all your answers will fit up the line. You have a short answer a big answer. It's a little wide. Is yeah. it multiple choice? Sure. Yes, or no one? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not multiple choice. No, but this is easier than I was. So you guys ready for the hundred dollar question for yeah. Jeffrey? So in marketing, what it so this is marketing in my wiker. What is the feature in my wiker that allows you to market your new listing to your office, potential buyers in your CRM, and create these landing pages linked for you automatically? Guys, everybody in this room should get it right. Playbook four. You're not supposed to mail it out. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you not? Uh, is that the 100 one? That was the 100 one. Well, because we're going to explore you guys later to see why. Oh, okay. Okay. Gosh. Moving forward, I'm going to ask. So, where are we? Where are we? Set, pick, cut, No, no, Lori. No, Lori. She's good. Lori. 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 Okay. I'm going to do marketing for 400. Oh, she's going for the big bucks. You guys, make sure you're putting it in the right place. Marketing for 400. What is the feature that when purchased for $45 or more will promote your open house or listing using a Facebook lead generation objection ad?
website for 400. Website for 400. Here's the question. Ready, guys? Where can I see my lead activities such as email opens, property valuations, and property views originating from my website? Whatever you can pick. Website. Um, website for 400. Um, Mark CRM for 400. Mark CRM for 400. Guys, this is a big money. Yeah, around here. Hey guys, what is the maximum number of leads you can mass email at a time without scheduling it first? What? What? What is the maximum number of leads you can mass email at a time without scheduling it first? That's 400, right? That's one. Which one was that? That was uh, Smart Sierra. <laughs> we don't even do, I, I we don't do that anymore. That's a tough one. That's I don't know. That was hard. Okay, that was a four hundred dollar question. Like I'm thinking of the page and it's hard. Who wants to go? Somebody pick. Come on, wake up. Pick us. Pick our next. Pick our next one. Which one? Marketing for three. Marketing for three hundred. Marketing for three hundred, guys. Ready? What is the feature in my Wiker that is a series of pre-planned automated messages sent to existing and prospective clients to encourage interaction and sales? Read it again. What is the feature in my Wiker that is a series of pre-planned automated messages sent to existing and prospective clients to encourage interaction and sales? That was marketing for 300 guys. It could be more than one thing. I can tell you. It's just one thing. Oh, my God. Website for 400. Yeah, so we need website for 300. Oh, we did? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you need to have an oh. answer in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we do? Here's the phone box. So, website for 300, guys. This is true false. Blogging on your website is an add-on feature and not included for free. True or false? Blogging on your website is an add-on feature and not included for free. That's 300? That was 300, yeah. Blogging. Blogging, like, the blo like a diary, writing an article. Blogging or a blog? That was website. Website for 300. Oh, well. Thanks. Lori just throws those answers around like nobody knows. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, for 200. Apps for 200. This is also a true false. True or false, you can mass email and text using the My Wiper app. That was what, 300? That was a 200, 200 app. Apps, 200. So this is a true false. You can, you can mass oh, email okay. and text using the My Wiper app. And, next yeah. one. This is like a secret quiz, isn't it? <laughs> so this is also a true false, you guys. It's a smart CRM for 300. Leads that you import into my wiper are private and cannot be seen by your office admin. Yeah. That's a true question, though. True or false? You know that. <laughs> you didn't know you're off the web. True or false? Leads that you import into my wiper are private and cannot be seen by your office admin. So let's let's preface that by personal leads. You can't pay attention to. Oh, I can't. Okay, okay. Not, like, not the ones that you can actually. That's the, that's the um, 
Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Which one is that? Sorry, that was March to your rent for 300. 300? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Read it again. Yep. Yeah. Or false. Leads that you report into my white room are private and cannot be seen by your admin. Unless your admin has ported it for you. Only in the state of Texas. You're getting a little technical now. I know. But this is how I, I, I don't know why I, I, I can't how to say. Clap your thumbs. Okay, you know what? Eric, thank you. Uh, mine went through 400. This landed through 400. Website 200? Website for 200, you guys. This is true false. 
testimony, testimonials can be added automatically to the My Wiper website. This is website for 200. True or false? Testimony, testimonials can be added automatically to My Wiper website. Yeah, you can add it, or you could have it linked to your billable blah 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 and have it set it up so it's automatic to it. So that's what you're saying. That was a gift you gave us. Before we go. Um, miscellaneous 200. Miscellaneous 200. When sending property listings to your clients, if you belong to multiple MLSs, Will your client receive the results in one email or will they receive multiple emails for the MLS? For the different MLS? If, when sending property listings to your client, if you belong to multiple MLSs, will your client receive the results in one email or will they receive them in multiple emails? One email or they receive multiple emails? I'm going to have to guess on that one because I don't check. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. 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 You have a monthly here. Mm -hmm. you know I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. <After> process, <laughs> I think Missy needs a when break. Using the, when using the Open House app, what happens with guest contact information? <sighs> oh, what? Uh, I know, but what's the. Uh, That's number 400. Oh, so. Here you want to fill up Lonnie's voice right here? <laughs> <laughs> She had to go. How convenient. Mm How -hmm. <laughs> you want to pick a number? Uh, pass the 300. Pass the 300, guys. Which phone number is used for calls made through the app? Hint it's either the smart number or your cell phone. Which phone number is used for calls made through the My Wi-Fi app? It's either your smart number or your um, cell phone number. But that's a technical question. From your app. Oh, where you get Got it. Debra, did you want to pick? Yes. Um, miscellaneous for 300. If I wanted to automate posting my listings to my social media channels, which program would I use? That was miscellaneous. If what? If I wanted to automate posting of my listings to my social media channels, which program would I use? Me? Mm -hmm. it's, it's within my wiper. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Stephanie. If I wanted to automate posting by listening to my social media channel, which program would I use? Mm -hmm. Ready? Uh, I'm going to pick one. Let's close out Smart CRM for 200. Smart CRM for 200, guys. <laughs> You're not going to understand it. I just put my phone. Oh, wait, okay, that's there. Smart CRM for 200 post house category. What are the three ways you can contact with me using my wiper? What are three ways? Three ways you can contact with me using my wiper. Three ways. Okay, I missed that one. I'm sorry. What are three ways? This is Smart CRM for 200. What are the three ways you can contact with me using my wiper? Let's close out marketing. There's one left in marketing. You can get this with marketing with my wiper. 
has a two hundred dollar question in marketing, or has a one hundred dollar question. Four hundred, we did already. We did. No, that. We did. Yeah, that was the first one, I think. Four hundred. Yeah, four hundred. We did. So we have two hundred and five. Miscellaneous in my white shirt, um, which feature in my white shirt allows for deleting or merging hashtags with false? That one is hard. That is hard. Deleting hashtags with false. Which, this is, so this is the miscellaneous. Which feature in my white shirt allows for deleting or merging hashtags with false? I didn't know that you could do that. It's new. It's new. It's new. I think that was a big thing that we wanted to do. Did we ever do X? We're doing it right now. Okay, thank you. Did you guys ready? Apps for 100. How many My Wiper apps are available in the App Store or Play Store? My wife and apps are available in the Play Store. Are you talking the one that you said, like Facebook or other? No, 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 my wife. Oh, okay. I haven't just talked that all has to do with my wife. Okay. Do we have a website? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, are you going to give us the answer? I'll give you the answer. Oh, final jeopardy. But you have to submit it. Are you final jeopardy? Mm -hmm. What's five times what? Who said it? Oh, it's not fake. Oh, oh the bottom. Bottom. little star. The bottom. Who is the person assigned to your office who can provide my white girl's health coaching and training? Oh, my God. Oh, that is so oh, hard. That is so difficult. So 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 you never know. So the answer is not hard. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Write that on the back of the page. That was the easiest one. That should have been the easiest one. That should have been the easiest one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's five hundred. Just four pages. Just four pieces of paper. Yeah. All right. I got all of them. Because you were collaborating. Laura, you were collaborating. Right. Put your pens down. All right. Collecting your pens. They don't work. They probably don't work. No, no, perfect. Perfect. More like this many. No, no, really, it's like four. You and that little mischief maker over there. Are you guys ready for the answers? Yeah. yeah.
Oh, it used to be 